Hello, and welcome to a quick demonstration of how you can activate Enable EDR within your InCentral RMM platform. Powered by Sentinel One, Enable EDR for InCentral provides industry leading endpoint security, enabling MSPs to unify endpoint management. Endpoint detection and response, paired with remote monitoring and management for effective endpoint protection, gives you the best of both worlds. With Enable EDR for InCentral, you can map your customer, site, and user hierarchies into Sentinel One using the uniquely designed EDR configuration wizard, monitor your devices in InCentral and access Sentinel One's console when they need attention, use Sentinel One's full EDR capabilities, leverage multiple AI detection engines, and accelerate threat investigation respond effectively through automation, roll back endpoints in case of ransomware, and more. Now, let's see how easy it is to activate and deploy Enable EDR for InCentral. We are now in the InCentral dashboard. To activate Enable EDR, go to the Integrations menu on the left, click on Integration Management, then Start Trial for Endpoint Detection and Response. Your trial license will be generated in a few seconds now. Once your trial license is generated, click Configure to launch the EDR configuration wizard. First, you need to create your Sentinel-1 account, either using Azure AD or manually. Click Provision Account as shown here, then click Next. We have adjusted the wizard to be more akin to the InCentral platform by splitting the customers for a service organization into a drop-down menu and the sites listed on the right. You can now easily and seamlessly map your entire InCentral hierarchy into Sentinel-1 along with your users. You can select to copy all or select individual customers and sites to be copied into your Sentinel-1 account, then click Next. Here's a summary of the actions you've taken so far. These are the customers, sites, and users you selected to copy over to your Sentinel-1 console. If you're okay with the selection, you can click Confirm and all the items will be quickly copied over to Sentinel-1. You can also go back to any steps to readjust selections as needed. Any site or customer already mapped will be grayed out to help prevent attempts to create duplicate records in Sentinel-1. When users are copied, we maintain the same access groups and permissions that were granted within in Central. If a user was not allowed to see a customer within Sentinel-1, they will also not see that customer. We are now in the Sentinel-1 console, where the entire hierarchy has been copied over. We have created each customer and site as individual sites within Sentinel-1 to provide our partners with additional granularity in selecting add-ons, packages, features, and configuring policies. Now, let's go back to InCentral. The EDR activation steps have been completed, so we can click Finish. For this demo, we have already created a filter to capture all managed endpoints except one, for display purposes only. You can create a rule to bulk deploy EDR, which is similar to all other features within InCentral. Once created, go to the Network Device Configuration tab from the Rule Details menu. Click Endpoint Detection and Response, and you can select Install EDR either immediately, as shown here, or during maintenance window. You can select to allow this rule to propagate to all new sites. As soon as you click Save the Rule, you will see it updating the EDR settings and trigger the installation to occur immediately. You will instantly see in Central displaying the EDR feature as pending installation on all previously filtered devices in the newly added feature icon which dynamically changes based on the process state. Pending, failed, reboot required, installed slash active, or grayed out if EDR is not installed on the device. Deployment of EDR is not limited to rule associations. EDR can be enabled manually as well on a single device, if needed, as shown here for the device previously not selected. You just need to click on the specific device to access its details. Go to Settings tab, select Endpoint Detection and Response, turn it on, and set it for immediate installation and click Save. Let's go back now to the main dashboard and click Refresh now. In the time it is taken to manually deploy EDR for a single device, 
and Central was able to successfully deploy EDR to multiple machines. Quite impressive, right? All endpoints are now pending reboot, and these states are reflected in here from Sentinel-1. You can also see that all endpoints were deployed accurately to the customer and sites they originated from. Now, you can easily reboot all these endpoints within and central via a task in bulk, selecting all devices and running the reboot script from the Encentral repository. After rebooting the endpoints, either selecting them individually or using previously created filters, you should see the icon in the feature column immediately transition to green, showing the EDR agent is now active and installed. And that's it! You now have access to Sentinel-1's full EDR capabilities, APIs, and the ability to try the more advanced security features. Learn more about Enable EDR at enable.com.